Okay, so welcome back to Kumari's Coins and Banknotes. And today we have a lot of coins. Actually, we're not going to go through these. This is a quick introductory video. And also, I'm listing a lot of Hong Kong coins. Most of these are not really worth that much. But, you know, 5 to $10 for a group of these. You know, if someone doesn't have them in their collection, they can actually just buy the collection. Uh, a lot of these other ones are probably just going back and spend in Hong Kong because uh, they're all pretty low condition, low grade mintage. Don't have any nineteen seventy eight two dollars, which is the lowest minted two dollar coin with the Queen Elizabeth the second. But these all have the British Lion and the effigy on the back. So. Yeah, I like those coins, but not too much. But <clears throat> I've got a whole bunch of coins here. And here we have a 100 franc from, it says Republic Franchise. The, it says Affairs and Isses. So this is a 100 franc from Djibouti. And we've also got no, a 50 franc. These are probably worth about $20 each. So I don't have these in my collection. I don't know why I purchased two of these 1971, so one of them is going to go back on the market. The other two go in my collection. Then we have a bunch of Jamaican coins. So most of these I've got. What I was after is the pre decimal coins. So Jamaica only issued uh, one penny, half penny, and I think farthings for circulation. Okay, here's a half penny. They didn't issue any sixpence coins. And is that a farthing? No, it's a one cent. Okay, so that's that's those coins. And then, then you just got the normal decimal coins, the one cent. You got the ten cent, which converted to one shilling. Then you got the current coins, so here's a current five dollar coin worth about five cents. And then you got this large 1966 five shilling copper nickel coin. I think there's only oh, I can't remember the mintage. But that's basically what I want this for. And then we've got a whole bunch of Chilean coins. I think I got all these. I might have actually had a this one seems to be plated. Oh, it's got it's been scratched, so yeah, that's a bit weird. I like these aluminium coins, one centavos. Then here yeah, we got a bunch of other coins, ten centavos, aluminium. What was I after in this? Ah, uh, that's right. That's why I purchased them for. Um, these two smaller coins. So we have a 10 centavos and 5 centavos from 1937. Small coins. But that, they're the only ones I wanted in this lot of coins. And they're pretty much uncirculated. Okay, so that's those Chile coins. And Chile is currently the most stable country in South America. Okay, got some more Hong Kong coins. Uh, $9.79, $5. They got rid of this because you can actually use, they were using the large $5 and the large $1. All you need to do is just grind it, make it look like a $1 coin. Then you could spend it for five times its value. And that's why they got rid of those. That I think basically I've got a 41 cent coin. Uh, where's the other one cent coin? Okay, looks like we've got. Uh, so we've got an 1866. Not first year of issue, that was 1863 and a 1904. Okay, you can get those as a lot of areas. And then we've got yeah, $10 coins, yeah, $5 coins. This one I'll probably just take back and spend. 
and you just got a bunch of other coins. So basically, yeah, nothing special in that. Then we have another lot of beautiful coins. These are from Peru. Oh, yes, they are. So got a lot of. So I don't have this one. The five souls. This is from 1975. And I'm not too sure if I have the 100 souls. Oh yeah, I don't have this one. 10 souls. That's from 1982. So obviously inflation was reducing the value of the coins. I don't have that one. 50 souls. So it's all 70s, 80s coins. But, uh, see, two pack. Two pack Amaru. The two two pack the rap singer is named after. One is 74 10 souls. Then you got a large brass. So this one's cost about 10 bucks. These 43 one soul. And is that rotated? Yeah, that's that just a rotated coin. Then you oh, I don't have this one. Oh, maybe I'll do. Actually, I don't have this one. So this is a commemorative coin. 500 years, maybe 400 years or something, Spanish rule, and yeah, one soul, so that is good, got a bunch of coins of Macau, whole moon, okay, so we've got those first issue coins in 1952, and yeah, it's a 950 T10 Avos. Then we have a 50 Avos. I don't have that one. But I've got quite a few of these coins. Most of them are 1968, and this one's 1980. So it'll be a harder year to get. And these are current coins in circulation. Uh, got a bunch of Belgian coins. So I won't take them out of the bag. Just have a quick guess. I think I wanted a so 25 centimeters 1922 looks like it's, yeah it's got the Dutch effigy I think oh yeah got a five francs issued by the Germans during the Second World War and this one's the French I don't have this one Two francs, 1923. Large nickel coin. Yeah, Ten francs, 1974. These were demonetized. I think 1980, maybe 1982 or something. Then we have a bunch of World War One coins. Oh, got some Spanish coins in there. Oh, Spanish one centavos. No, no five centavos. Two hundred and twenty-five cents, nineteen sixteen. Also issued by the Germans, and this one. This is the one I don't have. Nineteen eighteen, fifty cents. So there's those ones. Yeah, we've got a bunch of French coins. So there's the inflation period after the Second World War. So we've got ten fifty francs. Got a hundred francs. Probably worth about ten to twenty dollars together. Then we have oh, Cook Islands. Ooh, quite a nice place, Cook Islands. Do like to collect their coins? But these ones are no longer legal tender. Eighty three, nineteen eighty three, eighty three, and seventy four. They have coins with the second, and they have. Different designs on this side. And the last one we have is from Czechoslovakia. So these are the communist coins. Which, you know, it's quite nice. No, sorry, the last one was a Roman coin. So I'm not too sure what one this is. <clears throat> but I got it and it's actually purchased it for 10 bucks. It seems to be in higher grade than what the actual photo says showed and I think it might be 
Yeah, it's a Constantine, so it's 300. So that one's actually quite a good find. And, yeah, these probably cost at least 20 to $30 each. But I need to look that type. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Lots of different coins. Lots of different things to check. And the last one we have is some banknotes. So this one come from Japan. The interesting thing is that got a nice Japanese stamp, 140 yen. It's the only stamp to come with this lot. And this one, I think I'll purchase off this buyer again. So these are all private banknotes. I think there's a, what are they call um, Hatsu or whatever. So there's a private issue before they issued um, the yen. Here's another one. So these are probably at least 20 to $30 each. And then we have the a God Shine, which is a banknote issued 29th of April 1919 in Birches Garden. Yeah, if you know your history, you know who actually had a place in that place. Anyway, I don't think I've seen the five mark on that place. Anyway, if you bet the damage up there. So, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you, and goodbye.